Greetings Ibanez fans, this is Jason from Mishimashi Music and Shibuya and welcome to a very awesome day. We've just received the Ibanez Genesis Collection. So here in front of me I've got seven of the guitars. Let's uh, open up the box and see what the package is like on the inside. So, here we have an RG670 in uh, mahogany body. Now inside of the uh, case, come in close. Inside of here, you've got the correct tools and everything that come with Ibanez Prestige these days. It's pretty amazing that you get yourself a Japanese made Ibanez for this sort of price. Uh, now they do come in a soft case. It's not a deluxe soft case, but it certainly does the job and it helps to keep the price down. Let's see what this baby is like when we open it up fresh, because even I haven't seen these yet. Here we go, you get to see this at the same time as what I do. Wow, it's beautiful already. Look at that. Oh, it's... So for those of you on the forums who are worried, that is the real deal. The only difference with the bridge before and now is that they don't have to put the Floyd Rose pattern pending trademark on the bridge anymore. Um, but that's every bit as much the real deal as what they were back in the day. And I can tell you firsthand because I own a 540P2, that is just as thin as my 540 neck. So this is the real thing. Alright, next step's going to be, I'm going to tune it up, we're going to plug it in, we're going to have a listen. myself which has the same neck as this it's extremely thin on the first fret there you're getting a 17 millimeter uh, width and up here on the 12th fret you're getting a 19 millimeter width which is correct to this era of guitar so I can tell you as a guy who's owned 550s and still has a 540 um, or 540p2 that is that this thing is as authentic as it gets like it's the real deal you can see here they've actually cut the back here beautifully so you can get the real access it's the real um, neck square joint this is the real thing guys the only thing that's different from the old days to the new is the fact that it's now five piece so you've got maple rosewood maple rosewood maple um, unless that's walnut but I'm pretty sure it's maple, uh, rosewood in the middle there used to be problems with the necks cracking on the heel up here but that's not going to happen anymore because it's nice and strong because it's like five piece neck so those old issues that we used to have with many of them cracking, it didn't happen to everyone's, but it happened to too many. That's gone. Now you're looking at a guitar of extreme quality. Your best way to tell the difference between different guitars is definitely to put them on a clean sound. So what I'm gonna do for you, I know there's a lot of interest in the uh, Violet Chameleon in the 570 and also in the 550 as well. Uh, I'm gonna compare the 670 the mahogany body to the basswood body and the maple neck of course versus the rosewood neck on this one here so let's go one position up from the bottom and have a listen to the clean tone <laughs> This guitar sounds quieter on the finger pick, but on the straight chord, it's a pretty pumping sound. Uh, let's go up to the fourth position here, so we're using these two coils here. Go on to the neck. Yes, I like my G 
major sevens. Um, and then straight into the middle. There's the range of tones on a clean sound. The violet chameleon. Um, here you go, here's a look at how this thing goes purple and grey. So let's see if we can get this in the light. I know with my naked eye, I can see the colour changing. And hopefully you can see that on the camera as well. Road Flare Red RG550. That colour is an absolute knockout. Um, live here in the flesh, I hope it's coming up well on your screens there. But live here in the flesh, this thing is just gorgeous. It's so red, it's not funny. Um, that's a monster looking guitar. For those of you who just need black, the RG570 in black. Uh, I actually didn't order in the blue. Uh, it was the only colour I skipped out because, to be honest with you, I didn't figure it was going to be very popular. Um, even in the used market, a lot of people don't go for the blue, but the black, that's extremely tough. Now, there's been a lot of people asking as well about the colour on the Desert Sun Yellow. Um, with this 550, this is the same yellow that they use on the reissue that they did back in 2007. Um, this is that colour. You can also see these are made in the limited edition. This particular one is 00204, so number 204. Desert Sun Yellow, RG550. Genesis collection only available here in Japan. Sorry for those of you who are in other countries, but I don't make decisions on that sort of stuff. But there they are. One is the jewel blue in the 570. There's the entire collection. I hope you enjoy your sneak preview look at the 2013 Genesis collection. This is Jason from Ishibashi Music in Shibuya in Tokyo saying thank you for watching.